656 taking up live to Big Bear Valley on Hatch Watch this morning. We're watching Bald Eagles Jackie and Shadow. They vigilantly watched and nestled on those eggs this weekend during that winter storm. Yeah, of course, Thursday marked day 35. The first day, eagle-eyed observers said we could start to see those eaglets hatch. Now, in the past, the eggs hatched around 38 to 39 days, which would actually be today. But this is actually the first time Jackie has laid three eggs. Watchers noticed that this time around, egg one got considerably more delayed incubation. So we wouldn't be surprised if it hatches a little bit later. Very interesting. Yeah. I actually don't know what that means. I don't really know. More delayed incubation. I, hmm. But they do, and they've been watching for years, the friends of Big Bear Valley who provide this camera for everybody. Well, and it's so funny as you watch like the blog and so forth, there are so many, you know, so many people who uh, know kind of the story, the brief story that last year we were on Eaglet Watch and the two eggs that mm -hmm. Jackie laid, unfortunately, um, it didn't make it. And so this year we've got our fingers crossed. Yeah. And while we also know that 50% of eggs do not hatch, a lot of experts right now are saying, yeah, we told you day 35 is the day mm -hmm. that when we can start to watch, but just hold on. Right. right? Just wait and see. Uh, because so many people after the, you know, like the first 24 hour hours not seeing anything going, okay, what's going on? And the hatching process itself takes several days. Yes. It's really, yeah. you know, a lot of work for a chick to make its way out of that egg there. But they said you may start noticing Jackie or Shadow kind of yeah. listening to the eggs or maybe stockpiling food. So we'll see in the next few days. Yeah, and of course, we've been watching this because it's just so amazing to watch. Kevin, though, you've really been also watching the forecast too. And you know, there was a little bit of concern with this storm that we saw this past weekend, um, if the egg were to hatch during the storm. Uh, but now that that storm has passed and we're still waiting to see, how does the forecast look for, for them down there? Well, she hunkered down. I was uh, here on Saturday and uh, the wind was blowing up a big pair. Uh, the snow wasn't too bad, uh, but she was uh, definitely, I saw her at one point get up and move the eggs a little bit closer to her. Mm. So definitely protecting them with those strong yeah. winds over the weekend. And it's a beautiful morning up there oh right gosh, now. Yeah. She's taking a look at the sunrise. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's some prime real estate there. Uh, and uh, just a light breeze up there. So today is definitely going to be a big day for them uh, because they're not dealing with the uh, crazy weather. That's nice. They can just focus on uh, keeping those eggs warm. So uh, overall, weather looking pretty nice for them on this Monday.